Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be retwisting my dreadlocks and I'd recently just got them so they are like brand spanking new. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm working with today, what I've noticed lately. Just a quick little update. If you notice the ones on the back are super puffy. So I'm gonna try to fix those in today's video by using water and just twisting them. But overall, they feel really good. One thing that I will notice is over time, they start to thicken up. And not only are they thickening up, but they're becoming tighter. And I mean, they're staying in really well. And I haven't used any product whatsoever besides water and using a rat tail comb. But if you haven't already, make sure to go watch the first video I made on starting them. I'll actually leave an iCard at the top so that you can click on that video if you haven't watched it already. But if you have watched that video already, I'm glad you're on this one because today I'm going to be doing a retwist. Now, one thing that I wanna point out is that my roots are like the most unmaintained just because I didn't use product the first time. But I think with today's video, it should work out a whole bunch. And one thing that you will notice is these really thick, untwisted sections. And I'm gonna try to fix those up in today's video. But first guys, let's get into the products that I'm gonna be using. And all these products can be picked up at greatlocks.com. I went ahead and picked up some Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. You can pick this locking gel up on greatlocks.com. I'll leave a link to it down below. And you can pick this up. It's only like five bucks. And I'm also gonna be using a spray bottle. This is my favorite spray bottle ever, just because it has a good distribution of the water. And I'll leave a link to this down below as well. A lot of you guys asked me where I got this and you can pick it up from greatlocks.com. Another product that I picked up today, which I mentioned in the last video, is some duck clips. I'll leave a link to these down below as well because these are very crucial with the twisting process. Now the whole purpose for the duck clips is so that it holds the twists while your hair is drying and then you take it out when your hair is completely dry. So you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use my hair tie. This will be linked down below as well because these are my favorite. They're really thick. They're from Scooney. And I'm just gonna pull back all the hair. And the easiest way to do a retwist, I'll go ahead and leave these two out in the front. And this is the easiest way to do a retwist in my mind, is to pull all the hair back that you're not using and then twist the ones that are out and then just pull the dreadlocks out one by one and then do a retwist on that hair. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the spray bottle to start off with wetting the hair. And I'm gonna just go ahead and take off my glasses because I know they're gonna get wet if I keep them on. I'm gonna focus on spraying the root mostly, but I'm also going to focus on getting the length a little damp as well because I'm gonna put some gel into it. Okay, so I'm stepping into the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. And this is the resistant formula. What you'll notice different about this one is that it is white. It smells the same as the other one, but the other one is actually orange, if you guys remember. So this is for more of a difficult to lock hair. So on more of a curly hair pattern versus, you know, a thicker or coarse curl pattern. So I think this is honestly just good for everybody. So I'm just gonna test the hair, see if it's good and wet. I'm gonna just make sure that all the hair that I want in there to be collected. Now I don't want it to be soaking wet because I want this to dry relatively fast and my hair in general just dries really quick. I think I got all the hair in there that I want. I'm gonna use this mirror to kind of see where I'm at. That looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open these duck clips before I start twisting. All right, so these are what the duck clips look like. And I prefer using the really long ones so you can put a lot of dreadlocks in one. You can use the shorter ones, but these are just a little easier. All right, so like I said, just making sure that all the hair I want in there is in there. Looks really good. Make sure that hair that I don't want in there is separated away. And I'm going in and I'm only gonna take a little bit, like literally just a little bit on the tip of my finger. I'm gonna rub it into my thumb. And then I'm just gonna work it into the root. Work it into the root. And then if you squeeze it all out, work whatever gets squeezed out into the length of the dreadlock. Because the most important part of the locking gel is so that you're locking up the root of the hair. Okay, so that one looks good. Now this first step is always what I, is kind of weird. Like I usually hold the first lock that I do with my mouth. Um, some of you might not want to do that, but it's just so that I can hold this one down because I don't have anything to clamp it to right now. Okay, now that I got two of them ready to go, I'm just doing one last twist on both of them. And say you have all these products besides the duck clips, you can do a two strand twist on these versus using duck clips. But in today's video, I'm just using duck clips because it is a little more easier if you don't know how to do two strand twists. You could also braid these together, but like I said, I'm just gonna be using the duck clips. Okay, now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this one on the left side. 
What I've noticed with the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel, a little goes a long way. So you don't have to put a whole bunch on your finger in order to distribute it. And once you get the hang of twisting the hair, it's really simple on how to actually get this all done. So now that I have this one twisted, I'm gonna go ahead and put all these together and clip them all together. Now that I have two of them twisted over here, I'm gonna go ahead and clamp these two together. I pulled the one on the left side out of the one that was connected to the ones on the right. I'm gonna clamp these two together now. So I twisted four already and it's probably five minutes, even with me filming this video. So I'm just gonna keep on going and then we'll see how it looks. One thing to note is you're gonna take the clip out every time you put in a new one and then connect all of them together. Now it's not necessary to always take it out, but sometimes it's easier just to take the clip out. Make sure that all the locks are good still. And it may seem repetitive or it may seem like it's gonna take a long time, but this is how you make a retwist look as best as possible. You see how there's a tension on all the hair. I wanna make sure that they're all tensioned up before I put in the duck clip. You wanna put it as close to the roots as possible. Looks good. And I'm just going to keep working my way back. So you can see how this dreadlock literally basically almost came all the way out. So this is why retwists are necessary if you want to have maintained looking dreadlocks. So I ran into a little bit of problem. <laughs> I actually pulled this one completely out. You can still, I mean, I could still feel like where some of it's connected, but I mean, it's okay. They're still relatively new. So this one came completely out, but I'm just gonna wet it and then tree twist it and it should be completely fine. Alright guys, I only have a little bit more left, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'll update you guys along the way because I literally have less than five left, I believe, if not mistaken. But this is probably one of the quickest retwists I've ever done because there's not really much attention I can give to it just because they are starter locks. But I would say that I finished this relatively fast. So I'm just gonna pin this one back and then I'll update you guys when I'm close to being done. Okay guys, I just finished the retwist, did all of them on my head. The sections on the back aren't too hot, but it's all good. Remember how my dreadlocks used to look? The dreadlocks in the back were actually a little thicker than the ones in the front. And not gonna lie, that's actually a little easier to handle, especially having skinnier dreadlocks in the front and relatively thicker dreadlocks in the back. Just because thinner ones are easier to handle, like moving out of your face. For me, I'm not too big on like being perfect or precise when it comes to the sections. Cause I think overall they just look really good and I'm not trying to be perfect when it comes to like setting all these up. But I just finished the retwist like I said and I'll show you guys when it's completely dry. I'm probably gonna go step outside, allow them to dry in this 110 degree weather. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is gonna look like because I never went through this process before with twisting starter locks. I started out with the sponge rub back when I started mine four years ago and then I just started crochet hooking right away. So I didn't really get to enjoy the whole process. So I'm looking forward to see what this looks like. So. I'll show you guys when it is complete. Yo guys, I believe everything is all dry. I touched it, everything feels like it's hard and ready to go. And that's what you kind of want to do, especially because it is locking gel. You want it to harden up before you take off all the clamps. So I believe everything's hardened up and I know this is going to look a little bit better than how it looked before. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started, take all these out and I'll show you guys what everything looks like. I like the way the locking gel makes your hair look. It gives like a shine to your hair. So it lets your hair look really good along with smell good and it locks in your hair. 
Now, one thing I do want to mention, which I mentioned in the video before this one, locking gel is a temporary solution for locking up your hair. So locking gel isn't for you to actually lock your hair. You don't use it so that your hair locks up. You use it so it temporarily holds your hair so that it can lock in the position that it's being held in. This is just to hold my hair where it is for a temporary amount of time so that during that time it can lock up. This is what it is looking like after the retwist and pulling out all the clips. I'm gonna look in this mirror and see what it's looking like. My hair is laying down a little bit better. The tips of my hair have improved a bunch just because I focused on those a little bit. What do you guys think about the retwist? Do you guys think it was a success? I think it really was. I think this helped my separations a whole lot and it prepared me basically to move forward with this whole process. Because if you leave it in the beginning stage and don't really maintain it along the way, it's just not gonna look right. I just wanna remind all you guys of the products I use. I use Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. This is my favorite locking gel. This is the resistant formula. You can use this one, this one is white. The other locking gel is orange and it comes with a white cap, not a black one. I also use these duck clips and you can pick these up in the link down below as well. And again, my favorite spray bottle. And I just love this thing because it sprays so well and it gets distributed very good. But you guys, those are the products that I use in today's video. Hopefully this video helped you out on how to actually twist or do a retwist on your dreadlocks using locking gel. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends if they have dreadlocks or they need help on how to retwist. And also don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com. It has all your dreadlock and hair needs as far as products and even tutorials. And make sure to go follow me on Instagram. It is at Gunther and Great. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.